In today's show, I have a great pleasure to host two amazingly talented young actors, Domen Velic and Inja Zalta. They play lead roles in our teenage social network drama Liked. If you still haven't seen the movie, make sure to check it out on our YouTube channel. In one of the previous episodes of the Pro Filmmaker Show, I have discussed my director's point of view on how to approach cinematic love scenes. In today's show, both lead actors are going to share their experience on how they approached their characters, how they managed to create a believable relationship on the screen, and how they tackled the love scenes. Can you feel the excitement in the air? Good! So if you're ready to find out how to approach often challenging love scenes, let's dive in. But first, make sure to subscribe to our Pro Filmmakers channel and hit the notification bell in order to keep track with all the amazing new content we are preparing for you. All right, all checked in? Let's dive into this beautiful actor-driven episode of Pro Filmmakers. Doman, take it away! My character in the movie Liked is a douchebag, a rich boy, a sort of a guy that doesn't take no for an answer, that always has the means and the ways to get what he wants. His parents are wealthy, so the world is his oyster because even though he doesn't have any money, his parents do. And that's how he treats people as well. When we did the kissing scenes and the sex scenes, I realized I did not prepare for them at all. I don't know if I could prepare for them anyway, because it was, it's a, it was a whole nother feeling. Okay, it was the first time for me as well to do these kind of scenes. It helped a lot that uh, the chemistry between me and Inya was great and that we clicked, actually. We kind of clicked. And also, uh, we filmed this movie for five days and we filmed the sex scene on the first day, uh, the scene in the hotel room. So it was quite a, you know, a punch in the face in a, at the beginning of the shoot. Due to our conversations and our uh, relationship, um, we managed to do it quite uh, effortlessly, I would say. So the kisses and the touching and everything, it's kind of a mixture between real and fake in a way. But they're more real than fake, of course. It's just that I've known Inya for a couple of days before that. And uh, that's why when we were touching, we wanted to touch like we were uh, dating for the past two months or three months or whatever. So we kind of had to fill that uh, time void um, with a quick conversation and with a hug and just being quiet a little bit and hugging each other so that we got used to each other's um, uh, close intimate relationship. I think that helped a lot and nothing and then we just dived right in and uh, nothing should be fake when you're shooting something. Everything should be real. Uh, everything should be 200% real. And I think that you can see that in the movie as well. Even though we did not know each other, it was, it was still luckily for our relationship, it was not deep, deep love relationship. It was a relationship about um, almost fuck friends, let's say, or, or in a certain way of a very um, shallow kind of relationship. Let's just get it on, because we can. And uh, that's why also um, it kind of... Uh, helped in a way to just be more animal-like than loving-like. Well, my advice for somebody who's facing a love scene for the first time would be um, talk to that person as much as you can, uh, when you can, uh, and talk about intimate things as much as possible, as much as you want to, just to kind of get the connection. It's not, you cannot really say what it is, but it, it, um, you get a certain connection between your co-actress uh, co or co-actor that is very, very important for intimate scenes. Uh, even though if it's just talking about intimate stuff or if it's touching, kissing, um, loving scene, um, it helps a lot to just talk maybe about everything, but also about intimate stuff or some of the, um, what happened previously in your love life stuff because it kind of gets you in, uh, on a deeper or on a higher, if you will, uh, level. And it's so much easier to come close to a person after that. Well, I would say the most challenging part about researching my character was, and, and acting it, it was about this balance. I wanted to make a balance that he, he is, uh, in my opinion, he's uh, impossible. He's uh, arrogant, he's a douchebag, he's a spoiled brat, and he's never gonna change. But still, the girl that Inya plays is not, she's not a dummy. 
she's not totally stupid. So there must be something on this guy, besides, of course, this no money problem, besides this that she can get whatever she wants, a lot of fun, a lot of different high class parties or whatever. It must be something else as well. She must be attracted to him, even though deep down inside he's really just obnoxious. Um, repulsive in a way, but he can't seem repulsive um, on the first take, let's say. So I was trying to make him uh, sim simpatico, simpatico a little bit as well. Uh, the overall experience for me was amazing. It was my first ever experience like this, the first, let's say, uh, lead male role in a short film. So I was just learning as I went. It was the camera was in my face for the really, really first time. Um, there was not a lot of time. <laughs> so uh, I needed to learn quickly and just, just try to do my best. So I think it helped a lot that everything, the whole team and everything was so synchronized and so um, professional so that I didn't, um, basically I had a, a certain feeling like do it now or do it never because everybody else is prepared. And for me that is good because it kind of kicks me in the ass and just makes me do my best. The difference between acting on stage or acting, acting in front of a camera uh, for me is that at first I thought I was told so that on, a, on camera you just need to be relaxed and just need to be natural, which is bullshit because uh, it has its own technique as well. Like technique on stage, you need to have technique in front of a camera. You need to know where the camera is, where your microphones are, where your co-actors are, uh, uh, which lens is being used. Uh, you need to know everything. My favorite social network is Instagram right now. It's why, what I used uh, for my work, for my uh, contact with the people who like to follow what I do. And um, I think that if I would uh, be using Instagram when I would be 14, 15, 16, 17, that I would make a lot of silly or let's say stupid mistakes. Well, for what I do, I try to keep my posts on Instagram sincere which sometimes mean that I must go into private spheres as well. I don't mind doing that as, as long as I keep uh, my straight, my, my true intimacy uh, to myself. And I, I also respect uh, the people that uh, do the same as well, because uh, some things out there are just, it's, it's not that they're inappropriate, it's not their place to be out there. This is what I feel. There's a line somewhere there anyway on what is to totally mine and what I can share with the general public. The biggest danger of social networks, the way I see them, are that you can easily, easily become addicted and that you start to live in a certain uh, fiction that is a fiction. <laughs> it's not real world, it's not true world. Again, uh, social media is our, is like the best portrait, the best self-portrait we are making through the years. So it's not really, really, truly who we are. Even though we want to be as sincere as possible, others are not. And anyone who is uh, uh, hiring people due to their um, social media accounts or due to their presentations will tell you the same. Doman, thank you for your generosity and for stopping by in our Pro Filmmakers YouTube studio. I wish you lots of success in your future cinematic adventures. And now it's time to welcome the lead actress of the movie, Inya Zalta. Since she starred in our film, she has also starred as the lead role in a highly successful Slovenian television series. And then she decided to pack and fly to Los Angeles in order to pursue a professional acting career in the City of Angels. Pro filmmakers, are you ready for some deep dive inspiration? All right, Inya, take it away. Anya is a very popular schoolgirl. She is super outgoing. She is confident. She um, she likes attention, but she is also super sensitive and metaholic. And she has no idea that on her 18th birthday her life is gonna completely change. The most challenging part about playing my character was to play. 
because it was my first movie and I didn't have any acting experience so I had to figure out how I'm gonna do it I had to go to that place um, to that emotions and bring them out and I had to cry for the first time in my life in front of the camera. Um, yes, movie does have a couple of hot love scenes and no, I really didn't prepare for that. Luckily, I had an amazing partner, Doman. He's an amazing actor and I felt very comfortable with him. And also, usually when I have scenes like that, I totally black out. I'm in the moment and then when it's finished, I'm like, whoa, what just happened? I, I just can't remember what was I doing. My advice for new upcoming actors when they're facing love scenes would be relax. Relax, be in the moment, forget about everything, forget about the cameras, about people in the room. Just be focused on what you're doing with that person and listen to that person. Unless you're doing a bad love scene, then you should not listen to the other person. <laughs> But yeah, just trust and um, just go with the flow, explore, have fun. <laughs> the biggest inspiration for my character was the time when I was in school, when me and my friends were being bullied. That place of insecurity, rejection and not fitting in. You know, from the outside, everything is beautiful and inside you are hurting. The experience on the set was amazing. I really liked the people, the, the crew, the director, my, um, the other actors. I really, I really felt good while I was doing it. Um, when it finished, I was like, ah, I wanna do more. And it was a great first time experience for sure. I think the biggest difference when playing in a film, commercial or a music video is when you are playing in a commercial, you are a seller. You are nothing more but a person who sells a product. And you need to do everything to sell the product. <laughs> and in music video, you are, you are a character, yes, but you are more of a creating a vibe. You don't speak, so you don't have so much more depth. You don't have as much depth as in film. Because in film you have so many layers, you you are developing your character and the preparation um, is so much bigger than for other things. My favorite social network platform is Instagram. I would say I post about um, two times a week. Sometimes I won't post for two weeks, sometimes I would post every day. But I try to keep my private life separate. I only post what I want to post and not reveal so much of the things that I do in my personal life because it freaks me out if people know what I'm doing and I cannot see who those people are and it's just, it's just creepy. <laughs> so I would just say think before you post and engage with people um, around you don't be so much in your computer, phone, something. Meow. <laughs> what an absolute blast of the interview this was. Inya, thank you from the bottom of my heart for sharing your actor's point of view. For all of you who still haven't seen Inya performing on screen, let me just say that she is a wonderfully talented actor that will rip your heart out with her magnetic performance. If you still haven't seen her in our movie like, make sure to check it out and leave a comment below. So that's it for our weekly dose of pro filmmakers tips and tricks. If you like our show, subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And if you don't, that's okay. Subscribe anyway, because we are going to help you become a better filmmaker. Don't forget to comment below. We would love to hear what you think on the topic of approaching challenging roles on screen. This show was powered by Studio Production House, a video agency specialized in making video content look good, and Pro Video Rentals, a video rental company providing us with all the latest video tech. Make sure to stay inspired and shoot the stuff that you love. And always remember one thing, no matter what happens on set, 
We're gonna ride, ride, ride like it's all right. Thanks for watching our show. Stay creative, stay tuned, and I see you next week in the new episode of Pro Filmmakers.